you know, dating kind of sucks these days because of how bad the situation is around the world and how many people are in lockdown. But it does bring some benefits, I would say. Benefits that otherwise you wouldn't normally have. Like what? If you were in a normal dating setting. Well, um, in my honest opinion, I think because of what's happened, because of the pandemic, it's given us a lot of time to kind of grow and mm -hmm. self-growth, yeah, right? Yeah. We've all had that moment to have, you know, reflect on our lives, to to improve on certain things, skills that we may have, yeah, for sure. even work out more, yeah. you know, improve our bodies. So that indirectly affects our dating life mm -hmm. because it just makes us better people overall, more prepared to get into a relationship or something. So I've been hearing from my friends that they're kind of bummed because there aren't any like opportunities to go out and meet people anymore. Therefore, there aren't like opportunities to date because other than, you know, like meeting people via mutual friends, there's just like dating apps. So like, yeah. you know, when everyone is kind of free to move around, people would meet other people in like clubs or I don't know, like just hang out, you know, bars, like, like yeah, yeah, bars or like people would invite other people to hang and stuff. And now people are kind of just, you know, stuck at home. So they're kind of just on their phones. So they really just meet people online. Well, yeah, there are pros and cons to that. There are pros and cons to meeting people online. Like pros is like you, you don't have to have stage fright. You mm -hmm. know, usually when you meet someone, you, you kind of get scared or shy in the yeah, beginning, true. right? So there's not many things you can say. While online, you can kind of be yourself, kind of open up. But at the same time, you know, you don't know your chemistry with the other person yeah. until you actually meet them in person, right? Yeah, I feel like people yeah. can be more flirty. I mean, even like liking and commenting on posts or like tagging each other in like memes and stuff, that's kind of flirty. And yeah. you can be like you playful in online. ways. Yeah, you can be playful in ways that you can't really if you were just with a person like physically because you you'd be yeah. kind of shy yeah exactly especially when you're just starting yeah anyway that said i feel like while we're all stuck at home and well like for the single people i feel like you should approach this in the mindset where like this pandemic isn't gonna last forever it's gonna end at one point and i feel like you should take this time to i guess like prepare yourself because mm -hmm. like for example let's say someone told you that you were on going on vacation like in next month and you would have like a million things on your mind on like what to do or what to pack or just things to get yourself prepared for that vacation so yeah. i guess like think of it like you preparing yourself to get back into this dating field okay yeah like the big vacation <laughs> yeah i mean like don't don't treat this like it's permanent yeah at the same time like enjoy the time that you have and enjoy the activities that you're doing you know like during during this time just so you're not super bummed out and at the same time even if you do want to get into dating and you do want to prepare yourself like don't see every thing that you're going to be doing as like this stepping stone to the end game yeah. of dating i mean like don't just work out so that you can date not everything is about dating dating kind of yeah. just happens just take this time to yourself and afterwards you date yeah exactly focus on yourself self-love before you can even be with anyone yeah. i mean that's number one rule you can't just start dating people if you're not loving yourself taking care of yourself taking yourself out on dates yeah so priority number one is yourself and then that in turn will translate into you becoming a better person for a relationship mm -hmm. so again like if you work out, if you're doing all these things, don't do it for the goal of dating. Do it for yourself. Try to be a better you, a better version of yourself. That's the most important thing. Now, I think for mindsets, yeah, many people are bummed out. Many people are sad. They miss going out. They miss meeting other people. You know, it's it's very different, that dynamic. But I feel like it's not so bad using dating apps. So mm -hmm. dating apps are a big thing. And, yeah, uh, we you met know, on a Tinder, dating there's app. There's Bumble. Yeah, we met on Tinder. So that was pretty okay. And honestly, like it kind of extends your reach because you'd meet people you otherwise wouldn't meet. Yeah. if you weren't on that dating app yeah and on top of that you know it kind of builds something like you kind of build a foundation of good conversation you build a foundation of like getting to know each other you know kind of getting friendly with each other mm -hmm. which you know if you're just dating in person and it's very physical sometimes you don't focus on the conversation you mm -hmm. don't focus on getting to know the person truly getting to know that person yeah. so for me, I feel like it's somehow this is good because you are getting to know them better, getting to know the person you're potentially going to date better. The thing is, online dating can be a bit distracting because you're, you're not talking to one person. Let's face it, you're probably yeah. talking to 10 different people at a time, right? So you only know for sure until you actually meet the person. But I still think it's good for building foundation, which, you know, you don't have that in physical dating. 
If you guys want to check out the full episode, click the link on the screen or head on over to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever podcasts are available. Thanks for listening and we'll see you soon.